out there, if you take the Rolls-Royce example of doing predictive maintenance on Rolls-Royce engines to prevent disruption to passengers and ultimately save costs for the company as well. I think it's happening now and it's due to continue and, and go faster and faster. Uh, there are some great examples out there. We've got partners doing a robotic automation that can help in the, the manufacturing process itself by streamlining some of those processes. Um, that needs to be built into company strategies. They also need to think about some of the other great services available that not only protect the individual operatives but also deliver a better customer experience. What are the key benefits that AI brings to the manufacturing business? I would say it delivers efficiencies, it, it delivers safety and mitigates the risk, uh, it can streamline processes so you get products and services to market more quickly and more effectively. I would say think about AI as augmenting human capabilities and skills. It can help to do some of the dangerous jobs. A lot of companies now are using drones and image recognition to go out and inspect their sites, uh, both internally and externally, rather than send a human being into potentially hazardous areas. In training purposes, it can be combined with other technologies such as HoloLens to deliver a, an immersive experience in the training process without necessarily having to have the component parts there. Delivering an efficient service and operations is a great way to secure customer satisfaction. Uh, customers demand service. If you're unable to meet that demand then, then that's a real problem and causes customer churn. Uh, so from an operational perspective the inclusion of the AI and the automation that it can provide will help to deliver that high level of service. What are the future AI trends that manufacturers should be aware of? I would strongly recommend looking at machine learning for the ability to deliver insights very, very quickly. That helps in manufacturing process and can identify where they might not be successful in new products and services. Cognitive services is a great way to augment what's already being done. Uh, image recognition is a great example of that, using those images to monitor your, your facilities to make sure you're mitigating the hazards. A robotic automation would be the other one I'd recommend looking at because it helps in some of the manual processes and ultimately streamlines the operation.